From the Empire State to the Golden Gates, this is Quad Radio USA. Now, with all the dirt from the world of ATV motocross and GNCC racing, here's Mr. Ten Seconds. Rodney Tomlin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quad Radio. As today we turn our attention here into GNCC Amateur Racing, and the guy that we're going to be talking to, the number 763 College A rider, Levi Cohen. We'll talk with him in just a moment, but first let me remind you guys about some really great deals on some tire balls right now. Be sure to uh, get a hold of uh, Pat McGuire and uh, let him know you heard about him on. Uh, Quadradio.com, you'll get a 10% discount for those of you new customers. And uh, tire balls are definitely a musty uh, uh, flat-proof tire inflation system that uh, most everybody out there on the trail is using. And uh, you can uh, get your uh, click on the uh, logo, uh, or you can call Pat McGuire uh, from that logo number there on the, the Quad Radio homepage. And uh, as we welcome to uh, Quad Radio today, Mr. Levi Cohen. Levi, welcome. And uh, here we are. We're on Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we'll give away the, the secret of Quad Radio radio recording our interviews but uh we're on memorial day weekend it's uh, saturday evening man i mean we're getting ready to look at a, a bright fresh summer it looks like and already we're at the halfway point of the 2012 can-am gncc season and you made the big step this year from that morning class racing up to the college a class man i mean just bypassed everything and went right straight to college a and i guess the big question on everybody's mind how's that treating you buddy uh it's all right it's definitely a big jump because i just turned 16 at the beginning of the season so it's finally old enough, but we've had a bunch of bike troubles. We were riding Cowies at the beginning of the year, but lately Brian Wolf and his mechanic Sam and everybody's been helping me out and back on a Honda and still a lot better. Wow, that's that's pretty good, especially when you got somebody like Sam Shahan and and Brian Wolf in your corner, man. I mean, that's got to make you feel pretty good. Oh, it helps a ton. You know, and, and and I know you know how to feel good, man. I mean, because and they know to believe in what you're capable of doing because you were raised up through the GNCC youth ranks and uh, actually won the national championship yeah we got two youth championships and youth rider of the year and it's just last year didn't go so good and hopefully second half of this year does yeah, there you go now while what we're talking about uh, this let's just go ahead and bump up and, and just meet exactly who you are you say you just turned 16 at the beginning of the year uh, i know you come from millfield ohio you literally live almost on the property line of the uh, john pinton gncc but there's a lot more to you than that let's talk a little bit about that where where do you come from originally is that where you come from? Yeah, I always lived in Millfield. And uh, obviously 16 years old, what grade you in? Uh, I just got out of school last week, so I'll be a junior. Wow, so uh, moving up in the world, you feeling pretty big? <laughs> oh, yeah. Feeling, I bet it is amazing where you come from a few years ago on the youth podium. Huh? A lot of things have happened, huh? Oh, yeah, everybody's gone so much faster. It's just crazy. And so much older, man. You kids are growing up. I mean, here you are with a full beard almost. But, Levi, let's talk about how you got into this, man. I mean, w- you know, we know that you race. We know you're pretty doggone good. But there's a there's a big story, a, a big backstory to what you got going on. And I mean, uh, you come from a racing family. I know that uh, your dad, uh, you, you know, Norm, he he's a big time into racing. And uh, so, tell me, how did you get introduced to racing? When did you get introduced to racing? Um, well, my parents owned fast tracks in Nelsonville, Ohio, and I started riding on LT80 when I was seven years old, and started the GNCCs when I was about 12, and I was doing some testing for Pitster Pro, and they wanted me to start riding these, so I rode for them for a couple years. And that's when you won your championships? Yeah, I won championships on those. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, it's it's a relatively short career for you then. I mean, how did you say you were when you started? Uh, I was seven when I started riding, but 12 for GNCCs. Okay, so it has been a relatively short career for you. I mean, honestly, this is, what, your fourth year, fifth year? Yeah, fourth. Yeah, and I mean, a couple of years in the youth ranks, moved up into last year and this year. I mean, that's, that's a pretty amazing transgression man I mean that's progression I should say uh, that's 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 pretty amazing stuff there I mean that, that's a neat story but so racing obviously runs pretty deep in your blood huh oh yeah that's all we do <laughs> that's all we do I mean I know racer productions the uh, promoters of GNCC they've got uh, the slogan we race I guess your family could say the same thing huh <laughs> yeah for sure and I know that uh, you, you run with a pretty good clan of people man I mean you uh, a youth a group 
group of youth kids, you guys came up through the ranks pretty close and pretty tight together, didn't you? Yeah, I got a bunch of good friends I hang out with and stuff. Uh, Josh Merritt, he rides Pro-Am. He was a youth rider of the year a couple years ago. He's real fast. And Roman Brown just moved up to Pro-Am. Just all my friends. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, man. I mean, uh, uh, a short time in, in history. Tell me, what's, what's, what do you think your major accomplishments are? Uh, I have probably another year in College A next year, and hopefully that goes good, and then Pro-Am and see where it goes from there. Wow, you're going to move up pretty quick. Okay, so looking ahead, but uh, what, looking back on everything, uh, what do you? what's some of your best memories on GNCC racing? Um, probably the Youth Rider of the Year in 2010, and... Uh, overall in the Panton and 10, that was one of the biggest. I mean, I got a bunch of overalls, but the Panton was my hometown, so that was cool. Those are a little more special for you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So are you are you, are you you expecting to do well this year in the College A class at the Panton? Uh, I hope so. I, we'll have a new bike for that race, so everything should go good. And it's been getting a lot better, just start finish races and top fives. So what are you doing in school? I mean, are, are you, are you uh, like a um, straight A student or anything? Uh, A's and B's. Really? So you're pretty, pretty, pretty scholastic, I guess we could say then, right? Yeah, I guess so. So uh, what do you, what, what is your hopes and dreams? I mean, beyond racing, what? I mean, if racing didn't exist, what, what is it that you think you would be focusing on right now? I want to try to stay in the racing scene, even if I don't plan on going like Chris Borch or anything. Those guys are, it's crazy how fast they are, but I want to try to stay somehow in the sport and something with that. I guess, and being from a promoting family, I guess that that'll kind of help out, man. I mean, you already got a racetrack, right? Yeah. For sure. So uh, you guys race a lot down there? Yeah, we just had a Loretta Lens qualifier last weekend, so there's a bunch of motocross that goes on. I was going to say, man, I, I know District 11 is a primarily uh, motorcycle-oriented uh racing scene. I mean, how did you get hooked on the ATV? That's a big question. I don't even know really. Uh, my sister rides the dirt bikes. My dad rides the dirt bikes when I started riding four-wheelers and they all ride dirt bikes, so I just wanted a four-wheeler. Really? So, I mean, you just went against the grain? Yeah. Now, what did they what did they say about that? I mean, was was your dad and mom, were they kind of like, what's wrong with this boy? <laughs> well, my dad used to race four-wheelers before he raced bikes too, so he was cool with whatever. So, he, he kind of understood your, your desire to race the ATV, huh? Yeah. And now let me ask you, do you do you ride bikes? Uh, no, I ride I, every now and again just mess around with my friends at home, but not too much. So you're not real competitive on a motorcycle then, but ATV, look out, right? No, yeah. Well, that's great, man. Who's some of the people helping you out right now? Uh, well, definitely Brian Wolf, his mechanic Sam, and his family. They've been a huge help lately with all the bikes and everything. And my mom and dad, for sure, for everything, coming to all the races. And uh, Liat, Scott Goggles, Fly Racing, Max's tires, hyper wheels, just FMF, and uh, Walker Fowler, his family, they help out a lot, and Josh Merritt. Just. Wow, sounds like you got a lot of support and a lot of people believing in you, man, so uh, I guess listen to those guys, and they might be able to direct you down the right path, and this place, this ride might go farther than what you even expect. Oh, I hope so, that'd be awesome. That would be pretty awesome to see you in the industry, and uh, you'll be setting in Chris Board status someday, and I'll say, remember that interview we did on Quad Radio when you just barely 16 years old well good good job man any shout outs or anything you want to say to anybody or anything like that before we go uh, a big shout out to WHR White Helmet Racing Team and Ryan Wolf. What's the White Helmet? I've heard about this. Tell me about this. Uh, it's a team, man. My friend Josh. We just made a gift around at the beginning of the season, and I mean, it's kind of gotten more serious. But if you want to be on White Helmet Racing, let us know, and might be able to make something work. <laughs> you got basically one of the criteria. You got to run a White Helmet, right? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a black helmet. Can I start my own team? Uh, I don't know. It'd be competitive. It could be. We could be. We could be. Uh, uh, like Nemesis or something like that. I could start the Black Helmet team. No face mask, of course. No, I mean, we're old school. Yeah. You ever, you ever wear one of those like I wear? Oh, yeah. I got one we ride around on the Zuma with. <laughs> there you go. It's a real man. It takes a real man to ride without a face mask, right? Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. I know I wouldn't want to race with, with, with one, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, Levi, it's really good talking to you, man. And uh, I, I know that this means a lot to you. This racing does. I know you've got a lot of close friends and, and a lot of close family that... Uh, that supports you so uh, good luck to everything and uh, I really hope to see great things out of you man oh, thanks Rodney I really appreciate it alrighty that's uh, Levi Cohen I'm Rodney Tomlin this is Quad Radio